This week, St. Anne's Basilica in Scranton will celebrate its 100th anniversary. The 10-day religious pilgrimage begins on Wednesday. 2822 News reporter Catherine O'Leary is live for us at the Basilica with details on this year's big milestone. Hi, Kat. Hey, Nick and Candace, good evening. Preparations are underway along with some new additions for this year's novena. When we realized it was going to be the 100th anniversary, it became the most exciting preparation time we had. St. Anne's Solemn Novena dates back to 1924, making it a century. All of the things that occupied your attention as they happened, like the Great Depression and World Wars and, and uh, the civil unrest of the 60s and, uh, and then the pandemic. While St. Anne's is staying true to its roots of daily masses and services throughout the 10 days, this year there is a new edition of a mass for the Hispanic Catholic community. I was very pleasantly surprised to discover how significant the number of Hispanic Catholics are in our diocese and our surrounding area. The mass, spoken in Spanish, will be held every night from July 17th to the 25th at 7:30. It's going to be very exciting. Hopefully, hopefully they'll be able to make it and come out and pray with us. We want them we want them to know that they're welcome and that they're part of who we are as a Catholic community. As a way to commemorate a century of the novena, two parishioners created an exhibit of the past 100 years. So we wanted to uh, give people the opportunity to relive uh, this great novena. They come down here and see this has been a century of of prayers answered. Guests can take in history through a variety of photos, news articles, and more. The oldest piece on display is a booklet from 1928. This gives people a chance to, uh, as we say in the, the flyers, uh, dive into the history of the novena and to get a real appreciation for where we've been and hopefully where we're going. And now as for the summer heat, Father Richard Burke says that paramedics and water will be on site at all times. And for anyone who feels like they can't stay outside for any of the masses that take place outside, they can go right into the Basilica and watch the mass there from a stream. Everything begins this Wednesday. Reporting live in Scranton, Catherine O'Leary, 2822 News. Nick and Candace. Thank you, Kat.